We have made our way to Berlin to visit our first ever German Christmas market. Over the next few days, we're going to eat as many delicious foods and see as many amazing places as possible. But before that, let's quickly catch you up on what has happened over the past 12 months. We quit our jobs in 2021 to start traveling full time. We spent two weeks in Portugal, three days in Spain, three months in Thailand, one month in Sri Lanka, and two months in Nepal, before sadly returning home for six months to deal with some personal issues. But that brings us to now. Welcome to Berlin. So, when we looked up online what to eat in Berlin, um, this was one of the main things that came up every single time. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's called Currywurst. And um, this is my first time ever trying it, so yeah, it smells amazing. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. <laughs> It's so warming, comforting, not spicy, but it's got like kind of like a hint of warmth to it. I don't know what's in it. You should try it, you're better at describing things than me. It's really, really good. Not spicy at all. If you're afraid of spice, this is absolutely fine. It's kind of like smoky. It's just so good. Like. It's just really good. You, if you come to Berlin, you need to try this. Like, you, you need to try this. So another thing that I have seen pictures of online the second we've like um, searched German Christmas markets is eggnog. We get eggnog back in the UK. We don't normally serve it in tall glasses or with cream like this. And it just looks like Christmas in a glass. So here it goes. It's so good. It's sweet, it's really rich and creamy. You can definitely taste the alcohol in it. And um, I think I'm gonna like devour this whole thing in seconds because that's his schmeckmeer. So I went for the white wine, like the mulled white wine with cider spices, she said, like an apple cider. Um, I have already tried a little bit because she let me taste a bit. Um, it is gorgeous. It kind of tastes like a warm vanilla wine mix. It's really lovely, really warming as well. We've ordered some of these quark balkan. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. They look like little donuts, but the special thing about these is they're filled with this thing called quark hopefully spelling it right and saying it right, um, which is like a German soft cheese. Um, first time trying these, so let's see. It was three euros 50 for three. Mm. Just like a donut, but more doughy. Mm. They're so hot. So we were passing this store and we found something that we didn't have a clue what it was. Uh, so we pulled out our phones and Googled it and it's called Vonkal Metwurst. Apparently it's some kind of vegetable that's been cooked with this traditional type of sausage. No idea what it's like, so we're gonna give it a go. Oh, that's really, really good. That's really good. I can't even describe what it tastes like. It's really savoury, really strong. I thought it would taste a lot more like like herby than that, but it's really not. Because um, I've only got one hand, excuse excuse the uh, the bad practice, but the sausage is delicious. As you can see, there's a whole mustard seed right inside. 
absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna get Leanne to have a go at this now. Okay, so let's try this green mash <laughs> with sausage. Wow. Really, really, really nice. Comforting, warming, lots of flavours. Pickled, but like classic breakfast. Gorgeous. So we've come to Charlottenburg Christmas Market tonight to try and get some more food in our food vlog. Um, I'm standing here with a slice of bread which has raclette on it. And the raclette is actually more of like a Swiss thing, like a, something from Switzerland. But you cannot pass it up if you come to the Christmas market in Berlin. I'm sure this is going to be delicious because I love cheese so much. I actually had it with the ham as well, so let's give it a go. Mm. It's so comforting. Oh, kind of greasy, but perfect. So another thing that we read that we need to try online is these mushrooms. I'm not going to try and pronounce the name, um, so I'll just put it up on the screen now. Basically, it's like a really traditional sautéed mushroom dish that you find in a lot of the Christmas markets. And um, he also said something to me that I didn't understand. I thought he was asking how many forks we wanted, so I said two. And he's given me two different sauces, so I was wrong. But I'm going to give this a go now. It's super hot. It's basically just like stewed mushrooms. Really, really hearty, really filling, and it goes perfect on a cold winter's day. Has so much more to offer than just food like this. So we've come to the East Side Gallery which is the largest remaining stretch of the Berlin Wall that still stands. This stretch is about 1.3 kilometers and it's now been opened as an open-air art gallery which you can come and visit for free. Checkpoint Charlie, the victory column, the Brandenburg Gate, So yesterday, while we were looking at things to do in Berlin, um, we, or Leanne, found that there's an old US listening tower left over from the Cold War. Um, so while we're in Grunewald Forest, we decided that we're gonna kind of hike up the hill and find this tower. But along the way, we just found this building. No idea what it is. I'm gonna have a look and then carry on up the hill. place is absolutely massive you probably can't see we'll try and film it before the sun goes down but um there's three layers of fencing to get in and all the way around they've patched up where people have tried to get in i think you can go up there but it's closed today i think because it's christmas eve so we're gonna have to come back here and try and go inside so this looks like the entrance um I'm almost 100% sure we walked right past it almost and we've walked the whole perimeter. Like I say, it is closed today because it's um, Christmas Eve, but it looks like it's eight euros a ticket and two euros for a car if you wanted to park a car. We're definitely gonna have to try and come back here because it would be amazing to go inside and look at what's left and try and document it a little bit. So maybe you'll see it later on in the vlog. So a really crazy fact about this hill and the listening station as well. Um, the whole area is called Teufelsberg and that refers to both the hill and the listening station at the top. The hill itself isn't natural. The hill was built after the Second World War by the British and the Americans. Now they didn't have many building materials to make it out of apart from the rubble that was left over in Berlin after the buildings had been demolished. 
So this entire hill, which is 80 meters or 260 feet high, is made up from the remnants of the destroyed buildings in Berlin. So we're currently at the memorial to the murdered Jews of Europe, also known as the Holocaust Memorial. Uh, basically, it's this huge square grid with just over 2,000 concrete slabs in it. And just beneath it, there is a list of three million names that were given to Germany by the Israeli Museum. It's a really, really somber place. Uh, it's absolutely huge and you're quite powerful, quite moving when you're actually here. I hope I've said that right. Um, my first time trying it. Apparently it's special in a certain region of Germany. So let's give it a go. Mmm, that's really good. Loads of spices and herbs inside. Garlic. Oh, again, all German food is just so comforting. Um, delicious. So this is something we've been looking for for like the past three or four days that we've been in Berlin. It's called Eisbein, which is like a pickled ham hock, and it's normally served with sauerkraut. Now the woman behind us actually had what looks like mashed up black pudding as well, or blood sausage. And I've kind of asked if I can have a little bit of all three, but this looks amazing. Ooh. Try and get some of the sauerkraut with it. Ready? Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had pickled ham hock before but it's something we should do more back at home that is absolutely delicious like really good try the black pudding okay so that's different that's really creamy really good I'm gonna absolutely demolish this I'm starving but if you're here give this a try ice spine I think it's pronounced really good so I saw this pretzel shop on the way around the market but then we kind of lost it and I was dreaming about it whilst we were walking around. I couldn't see another shop selling massive pretzels like this all the way around. So we just got here again we found it somehow and look at the size of this pretzel. It's massive! Oh, I am so excited. <laughs> Mmm! Mm. Mm. It's so soft! Brazilian! Brazilian! This market is absolutely nuts. It's by far the busiest market we've been to so far. Um, you can barely move at times, like, it's just so crowded. I mean, to be fair, I also think it's the biggest market that we've been to. But there's just, like, not enough room for all the people. I think we're going to have to make our way back to Alexanderplatz because this market is just becoming so crowded to the point where we can't move so it's kind of becoming less and less enjoyable as it becomes more and more hectic. So, see you in a minute. So that basically brings our time here in Berlin to an end. We realise we've eaten an absolutely disgusting amount of food while we've been here but it was all filmed over several days. There was no way we could have eaten all of that in one go. Uh, the last place that we just visited is called Café uh, Gelato. It's amazing. The reason we went there was because there was another famous dish in Berlin called spaghetti ice cream that Leanne discovered that we had to try. And uh, the place was a lot fancier than we expected it to be. Uh, really, really, really tasty ice cream. Uh, the staff were incredible. And yeah, it's another place that we would recommend if you're in Berlin that you go and check out. So once again, uh, if you like the vlogs, please subscribe. It helps the channel out a huge amount. Also follow us on Instagram because we post daily stories. And uh, yeah, until the next vlog. Bye. Bye. I inhaled all the fumes. <laughs> that was like pure alcohol fumes. <laughs>